What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy and today I'll be showing you the top 5 underrated, undervalued Wix apps that Wix natively builds for you to use on your Wix website. If you're just joining us, thank you very much for tuning in to this video. As you can see, I'm shooting from my college, well, college house now, no longer a dorm room, last semester here. So let's get a thumbs up for that. Uh, and I would love for you to be part of this Wix Nation community. It all starts by clicking that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on because you don't want to miss any content happening here at the channel. There's a bunch of exciting things happening at Wix and you need to know how to implement them into your website and you just need to know about them in general. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned here on the channel. Without further ado, let's jump into today's top five undervalued Wix apps. Okay, so we're here in the editor. Number one on our list is a very self-explanatory one, but I don't think people realize the magnitude of value this app really brings. And it is called Members by Wix. If you go to Add and you scroll down to Members, you can click Add to Site, and then you can add a Members area to your Wix website. By enabling Members by Wix, essentially what you're enabling is an, is an immense amount of things. You've got uh, membership websites, online courses, You've got the ability to create communities. You've got the ability to build forums. You've got the ability to custom code platforms. Memberships and members by Wix opens up a world of opportunity because in this digital virtual world, especially now after COVID has struck, we need people to be able to connect connect virtually and by doing that enabling memberships profiles the ability to connect with others is so so important so the Wix members app allows you to do a multitude of things but the basic back end premise is they can create a Wix account and it'll register within your Wix website and it creates a whole database of all of your members so you can collect the uh, the data and make sure to push out content all of that good stuff here within the Wix members app if you don't have it yet I don't care what type of website you're building it's likely going to be valuable unless you are strictly building a front-facing just like informational website the members app if there's any bit of component to other human connection or clients or members in your business this should be on your website let's move into number two Number two on our list, if we actually scroll down on that member side, you'll see related apps, is actually called Wix Groups. And what Wix Groups allows you to do is basically by this description, grow active communities around shared interests. So if we click adding Wix Groups, essentially what this allows you to do is it allows members already in your community to form groups around shared interests, literally that. So let's just say you've got a group of dog lovers. Well, perfect. Now you can form a group. Your members can form a group called dog lovers. Okay, maybe you've got sports fanatics or Yankees fans like me, the Yankees fans. I can go ahead. I can form a group with other individuals within this community of Yankees fans, and we can have our own conversations. You can see if we come in here, press manage groups it'll open up the ability for us to actually come in here and manage groups by the way just a little side note while I'm going through if you'd like to see me do an in-depth tutorial on each one of these apps please let me know in the comments below because I'm kinda touching on the surface level showing you what they are highlighting them so you've got a base level understanding so you can go out there and start experimenting but I'm happy to do full in-depth tutorials on each app and then you can come in here you can add particular members from your existing membership communities you can create additional groups uh, you can go to a group manage a group delete a group all as an admin so Wix groups phenomenal uh, opportunity and a phenomenal idea by Wix because a lot of people were asking to create this within their social networks within their membership communities so that even though they're already in a like-minded community people want to niche down further they want to get literally with people that are just like them like-minded so Wix groups is number two number three on our list 
is actually Wix Forum. So if we go to Wix Forum, most of you have heard of this, most of you know what this is, but a forum, especially nowadays, is a wonderful way to communicate. Essentially what the forum allows you to do is it allows you to have multiple different categories and within each of those categories you can start discussions people can start a thread comment on that thread so it's almost like a Facebook like environment think of social media because uh, you can add pictures you can add gifts you can add videos you can uh, custom embed stuff so it's taking that entire social environment that social platform feel and putting it into one app called Wix forum now is there limitations uh, in terms of design functionality of course there is because it's a native Wix app however you have the ability to kind of pull from the back end of the Wix forums you can build out your own style of a Wix forum or you can even you know custom build your own Wix forum but for starters this is incredible and you can come in here you can manage the settings and you can get familiar with what's going on in this forums you can choose which categories are shown the settings of it is there certain words that cannot be said spam words filtered words stuff like that you can choose how many posts uh, a new member can post in its first week as a member file size of images videos etc if you want to maybe manage site speed a little bit but you can see you can go all the way up to 500 megabytes as term in terms of a file size so if anybody's sharing content on your site in the forum they can upload up to 500 megabytes so it's cool it takes that whole social platform puts it here that's number three. Now, if we go to number four, we're going same spot under the uh, ad member elements under the related apps. You'll actually see Wix challenges. Wix challenges is also very cool. If we click on this, essentially what you can do is you can uh, build and create and sell different um, challenges. So if we open this up, you'll see here that you've got examples run your first 5k marathon training meals for runners stuff like that and what you can do is you can manage your challenges you can determine whether it's a free challenge people in your community are just free to join it or if it's paid if people have to pay to join that challenge now you determine what happens with that challenge does someone win a pot of money uh, is it just going back to the parent company to host the challenge what does that look like but you can actually come in you can create a challenge uh, determine how long it is you can pick a template if you'd like or if you want to start fresh you can start fresh you can give it a description choose the start date duration if you have to pay to join like I was saying uh, visibility is it only everyone can see it on your site is it only particular members is it secret so only participants you choose can see it what does that look like you can choose a number of participants limit it uh, and you can also add a uh, reward. So maybe they'll get a badge associated to their profile at the end of the challenge. So this is good if you're running like a fitness class and you do a sugar reset and your client goes all the way through and then they get a badge at the end. So whenever people come across their profile on your site as another member, they'll be like, oh, that person completed the sugar reset challenge that's what these challenges are really cool for and it creates camaraderie in your community so that's number four and then lastly what we're gonna finish up with is our fifth and final one which is Wix shared gallery so I've heard this a lot a lot a lot lately which is how do I create a way for members in my community to upload videos and photos to share with one another well Wix shared gallery is exactly how you do that with the Wix shared gallery, you can see these are all my posts, but each member can have their own gallery, their own collection of images, of videos. And you can come in here to settings, and it's a shared gallery. So you can set permissions. You can choose who's able to upload images into here. Is it only members? Is it particular members? You can come through, choose the uh, permissions, like I said, how it's displayed. Do you want it most recent? Do you want it most viewed, most liked? And this is the way like Instagram if you will you can come in and each member in your community can have their own gallery their own picture their own video posted in here which is really really cool it's a way for you to finally connect and share images back and forth like I mentioned so there you have it these are the top five 
I think underrated and undervalued Wix apps that are actually fairly newer that can add tremendous value especially if you've got like a membership facing website for your community if you guys enjoy these I would kindly ask that you drop a thumbs up down below if you have any questions and or if you would like to see me do an in-depth tutorial on each of these apps please comment and let me know in the comments below and lastly I want you to be part of this incredible Wix Nation community, the largest Wix training community on the internet. It's a great community here. It all starts by clicking that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on so you'll never miss any content and you'll be part of our camaraderie here. A lot of great opportunities coming, a lot of content coming your way, and I'm excited to share it because Wix only continues to grow and continues to add new features that help benefit you. So if you're not part of it yet, and you don't have access or you don't know about all of these different apps and you want to learn how to utilize them, make sure to subscribe so that way you can make sure you're in the know. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you on our next one.